Hi, I'm Ashley Siswick and I am the Assistant Product Manager at Robonica and I am also in charge of this whole organization of the Space Pods uh, tournament today. We're seeing a lot of excitement. The boys are really thrilled about what's going on and I think that they really buy into the idea of robotic gaming, so that's what I'm most excited about. The tournament game we play right now is a game called Space Pods. Basically what that is, is it's robotic soccer, so all the game accessories, pads, balls in the game have RFID chips in them. The robot has a sensor, so throughout the game you'll be trying to get the ball back to your base station, which also has an RFID sensor, and that's how you score. It has 16 sensors on it, right? So um, there's two right in the front, um, and those are obstacle detection sensors, as well as the front bumper and the back bumper that you can see there. Um, are touch sensors, so if it drives into something, it'll hit it and bounce back and uh, turn away and drive away from the obstacle. It has 16 sensors, four processors, so it's really advanced. What's really neat about our system is the fact that when you buy the product, you're essentially buying two robots, a physical robot, and you also get a robot in our online world. What's really cool about that is you can play with people all around the world and like interact with them, physical robots and virtual robots collaborate really well. If you were to upgrade your weapons or defenses, it would get translated to a physical robot and you could then utilize that in gameplay, which is really neat. You can connect your robot really simply to a PC through this little USB input, um, and it will connect to both the programming, which is like a CD you get with your robot, and then uh, the online world as well. It's totally interactive, but then it goes to this whole new level because of the fact you can go to the virtual world and then you can experience the same thing with your friends all over the world. There's single and multiplayer games, so you can play around with your friends and do that and then you can go home and you can practice by yourself by playing other games, so that's really cool too. Who, who do you think is the best here? Me. <laughs> I guess the fun part of it is like being able to shoot other people and like have special effects and do that kind of stuff and it's not just playing with a robot. I mean, it's a competition. Instead of just shooting someone, you can actually disable them a little bit longer by using the super weapon. So you just have to be uh, very conscientious about looking at your remote and knowing when they're available, going over and then using them against the opponent. There's also random weapon pop-ups, which are SFXs. Um, that's like making your opponent spin in a circle for 10 seconds, uh, making them go back to their base station. So it's cool stuff like that. We definitely all work together because um, some of us are more computer technology oriented than others. So it was definitely a help to have other people working together. You know, the girls are just as into it as guys are. So you know, if you love robots, you love technology, you love science, this is what it's all about. I'm Christine, and this is Spartacus, and this is Dragon, and this is Brutus. Um, you just plug them into the computer, and there's a, like the command station and you, per you can personalize them and customize them however you want, like either make them happy or scared or shy or outgoing or anything like that. I mean, some of them are, are kind of dumb if you leave them roaming around. Other ones are really smart and they'll never go back to that same corner. But this one's kind of like happy-go-lucky. I think that this is the next new genre in gaming. So if you think about uh, Nintendo's Wii or you think about Guitar Hero, uh, to me, this is what's going to be the next evolution in gaming. Check us out at www.robaniai.com and on Facebook just type in Robaniai and you'll track us down.